Traditionally, the activation of the cochlear implant happens approximately one month following surgery. The surgery takes place immediately behind your ear, and so we need that time to let your ear heal so that when we place the external equipment behind your ear, there isn't any additional discomfort. The activation sessions are the initial stimulation of your ear electrically. The very first day, what we primarily concern ourselves with is loudness tolerance. The first thing your brain decodes as part of a sound package is the loudness of that sound. And so that's the first thing we need to deal with. For a lot of patients, um, that ear has not been stimulated in a very long time. And for all patients, it hasn't been stimulated for at least a month. So when we first turn the electrical stimulation on, it can be very much like a bright light in the middle of the night. And your ear needs a certain amount of time to take in that information, get used to it, tolerate it, and then be ready to move on to something else. The follow-up activations after the first one are making those adjustments so that your ear is getting more acoustic stimulation and therefore a better quality signal for your brain to deal with. Rehab therapy for our pediatric cochlear implant patients uh, normally will take place here at Johns Hopkins where the patient will come in for a weekly session with one of our rehab therapists. At those appointments, most of the time they're working on skills not only with the patient but also with uh, their parents or caregivers to try and develop these skills that they're going to use in the real world. This is then combined when the child becomes school age with any therapy options the school may be able to provide. Rehab options for adult cochlear implant patients um, have uh, improved over the past couple of years. Traditionally, adults can't make it in for a weekly rehab session because of work and family commitments. So recently we've seen an influx of online support where patients can do their training um, at night when they're at home and have the time. One thing that we will traditionally recommend for patients um, despite the fact that they have online options or not, um, is to use books on tape. This allows a patient to get the visual information from reading the book while listening to the auditory version through their stereo or headset. That is a very common question that we get asked, which is how long will it take before I can use the phone? Um, phone use is very difficult from an auditory standpoint. Uh, there are two main factors that we look at from phone use that make it difficult. The first is you lose all visual cues. And whether a person likes to admit it or not, most of our patients will get a lot of their information visually. Phone just doesn't have that. The second thing that becomes difficult is with a phone, traditionally you're isolating one ear over the other. Most patients will function better binaurally, meaning using both ears. So when it comes to using the phone, a cochlear implant patient has to have a lot of skills developed in a normal, quiet situation before the phone becomes something that they can attack. Normally, I would say this is gonna take about six to nine months before they can feel comfortable handling phone conversations. There are three levels of upgrades that we look at. The most basic would be a software upgrade. Uh, the manufacturers are constantly coming out with new software which we can then just upload to your current processor. The second level would be an actual external equipment upgrade. This would be a purchase of new equipment which would be used with the internal device that you already have in your head which would allow you certain benefits. The third level of upgrade would be a full revision where we would replace not only the external but the internal equipment. At this point in time, that won't happen very commonly. However, we would expect that for our children who maybe are 12 months old and getting their first implant, after 20 or 30 years, we would certainly expect the technology to improve to the point where they might want to consider a full upgrade of the internal and external equipment in order to obtain whatever benefits are available at that time. One question that we get asked is, does insurance cover these upgrades to the equipment? And the answer is yes and no. In most cases, insurance will require some sort of justification for why the upgrade is required. The manufacturer's job is to provide that technological research which shows these are the benefits to the upgrade. Once shown, a lot of insurances will cover an upgrade to equipment.
A cochlear implant's internal device is designed for life. We wouldn't expect a person to ever need to change it. However, for our very young patients, sometimes the technology will improve to the point where they may want to consider revising their internal device. Ideally, a cochlear implant becomes a seamless part of your life. That's what we would like from every one of our patients. However, there are some things that the cochlear implant does need to, you do need to take into account. Um, it is an electrical piece of equipment. Therefore, um, most of the cochlear implant processors are not waterproof. Um, so taking a shower, going to the pool, going to the ocean, you're gonna wanna take your device off. The other thing that we recommend is people don't wear it at night. Um, there's no reason to wear it while you're sleeping um, and you're just going to wear down the battery unnecessarily. Having said that, we do have some patients who, for safety reasons, do wear their cochlear implant at night, so it is possible. However, it's not something we recommend. The other thing to think about is that we are putting a magnet and a piece of metal in your head. So when you go to the airport, got to go through TSA, you're going to set off the um, metal detectors. This is something you need to take into account. Give yourself an extra five, ten minutes just to make sure you can get through the process without any difficulty.